In this video, I'll show you how to create the Ken Burns effect in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru, and I create tutorials on video, photography, and audio. So uh, be sure to leave a comment and hit that subscribe and notify button. So the Ken Burns effect is basically taking a still image and adding a simple animation to it to make it look more interesting. Now Ken Burns is a filmmaker and he didn't invent this effect, but he used it a lot in his documentaries, including one called uh, The Civil War, which I highly recommend. Now here in Premiere Pro, I've already imported my images and I'm gonna create a new sequence by going up to File, New, Sequence, and then I like to go to the digital SLR, 1080p, and I'm gonna use this one, 1080p, 30 frames a second, but you're welcome to use whichever one you want. This will create a video that's 1920 by 1080, and then I'm also going to rename it. Now I'm gonna add my images to the timeline, so I'm going to click on the first image, shift click, on the last image to select all of them and then drag all of the images to the timeline. And there they are. I'm gonna zoom in on the timeline so that I can see the images a little bit better. You can see that right now the images are all static and they'd be much more interesting with a little bit of animation. So let's begin with the first image. I'm going to click on the first image to select it. And then inside of the Effect Controls panel, we're going to be doing the position and the scale properties. If you can't see the Effect Controls panel, go up to the Window menu and then go to Effect Controls. And a lot of these images are high resolution, so you'll notice that it's not really fitting on the screen. So what I'm doing is next to the scale, I'm changing the scale value to fit the image on the screen like that. Now, when you're ready to start animating something, uh, I recommend going to the beginning of the clip. So I just dragged the playhead, and then I want to animate the scale property. And so you'll wanna click on the toggle animation button that looks like a stopwatch. So I'm gonna click on the animation button, and then that will create the first keyframe. And then I'm gonna go later in the clip and I'm simply going to increase the scale value. And this will create a second keyframe and I recommend moving that keyframe to the very end of the clip. So now we have a smooth animation throughout the entire clip. Let's go to the next clip, so I'm gonna select it in the timeline. And this one's gonna be a little bit different. Um, when I adjust the scale value, you'll notice that this is actually a vertical image. So I'm still gonna scale it up so that it fits the screen, but this time I want to animate the position property. So when you animate something, start off at the beginning of the clip and then click on the toggle animation button. This will create the first keyframe at the beginning of the clip, so I'm going to slightly adjust the position value. Then I'm gonna to go toward the end of the clip, and then I'm gonna adjust the position value. And then I recommend also dragging the keyframe to the end of the clip, and now you can see that I am animating the position property. Great. So now on the third one, let's do something a little bit different. Let's do both scale and position. That's a little bit trickier. So first of all, I need to adjust the scale so that I can see this image. And I'm also gonna adjust the position like that. And we're gonna to try to zoom in on this goat here who's actually in one of the corners of the image. So to begin with, I'm gonna move the playhead to the beginning of the clip and then we're gonna click on the toggle animation button for both scale and position. That will create the starting keyframes. Then I'm gonna go later in the clip and I'm going to adjust both the scale. 
But you'll notice that I also have to adjust the position value to keep the focus on the goat. So I have to do both scale and position. Then I'm going to take these keyframes and I'm going to move them toward the end of the clip. And now you can see that I'm zooming in on the goat. So I like that. That looks good. And then we're going to go to the next clip, which is a waterfall. Now, one thing I also recommend is that you change it up a little bit. So don't do the same animation for every single image. Maybe you want to zoom in and zoom out, pan to the left, pan to the right, just to mix it up a little bit. It'll be a lot more interesting. So on this image, I want to actually zoom out on it. So I'm actually going to zoom in and then I'm going to adjust the position. That. Now I'm going to start animating, so I'm going to move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to toggle animation for both position and scale. That'll create the first keyframes. Then I need to go later in time, and I'm going to this time reduce the scale. Now you're going to notice that the image uh, looks very weird, and that's because I need to change the position as well. And then I'm going to move these keyframes toward the end of the clip. And now you can see I'm zooming out on the waterfall. Now for this last image, I want to show you a little trick. Uh, you know, sometimes people ask, is there like a preset to speed up this whole process? And unfortunately, there's no preset inside of Premiere. But what you can do is you can copy the keyframes from one clip and then paste them onto another clip. So I'm going to do this on this last clip. So I'm going to go to the first clip where we already have some keyframes. I'm going to select that clip and then go up to Edit Copy. Then I'm going to go to the last clip. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go Edit paste attributes. This is the trick here. And then make sure you have selected the motion attributes. That's where all the keyframes are. And then I can click on OK. And now you can see the keyframes have been copied onto that clip. So this can be a great time saver. And now I have an instant animation on this clip that I copied from a previous clip. And so we already have like a nice smooth animation across all of our clips. But one thing I would like to do is to add a transition between all the clips. So I'm going to select all of the clips in the timeline. Then I'm going to go up to Sequence and Apply Video Transition. This will add the default transition, which for me is the cross dissolve across all of the clips. And now there is going to be a cross dissolve between the clips. Now, if you look carefully, though, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of jerky movement during the transition. So what I'm going to do to fix that is select a clip and then you need to adjust the keyframe so that it goes to the very end of the transition. And you actually have to do this on every single clip. So I'm going to click on the next clip and then adjust the keyframe. And then I'm going to go to the next clip, and now I need to move all of these keyframes so that they go to the end of the transitions. So this is not difficult, but it can take a little bit of time. And now what I have is a smooth animation on all of my clips, plus I have a nice dissolve between the clips and I have a very nice slideshow and it makes the still images much more interesting and visually engaging and dynamic. So I hope that tutorial was helpful to you. Let me know if it works for you or if you have any questions down in the comments. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to notifications and let me know what type of videos you'd like me to produce. I'm definitely open to suggestions. And so keep learning and growing and I will see you in the next video.